Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the High Soapbox. Uh, we uh, we're you, the premier interview podcast here on High Media TV. I am joined today by Ayoko. Please tell me I got that name right. This pronunciation right. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, Ayoku, Yoku for short, because I'm a dusty ass American mm -hmm. who does, never learned another language except English. Uh, is the uh, is a VTuber, obviously given given by for my YouTube video viewers uh, by the model I am facing in Chikal right now, and is also the leader and talent manager of Feonia En. For those Feonia En, basically being the I had it pulled up, the tagline pulled up, but this is a professional podcast, folks. The the premier indie VTuber group with where infinite worlds intersect. Uh, welcome to the show, Yoku. Thank you. It's really nice to be here. <laughs> so let's before we before uh, like let before we get into some of the nitty gritty because I have some questions about uh, uh, Fanonia and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. Fan Fanonia is this pr pronounced? I'm pronouncing that correctly, right? Actually, it's called Fanoia. Fanoia. My apologies, Fanoia. It's okay. <laughs> like par, like like like, uh, fa as in fuck, and uh, noia as in paranoia. Uh, actually, the fan part was mostly in reference to fantasy, and I was going for the uh, I was going for the pronunciation. To be clear. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty much how I pronounce it. Fanoia. Fanoia. Luckily, it sounds the same in both JP and English. <laughs> Do you speak Japanese? Uh, my Japanese is still pretty uh, rudimentary. Like, I picked up a lot of things from watching anime and also interacting with uh, some JP VTubers uh, on, online here and there, but I am not fluent. <laughs> Yeah. I think my first interaction with you was I just randomly saw one of your posts uh, promoting Digi trying to get to, uh, I think, 50, uh, uh, 50 followers per affiliate. And uh, after that, it was, um, we were, inter I was interacting with you with here and there. Uh, uh, I think it was a uh, Wolfie that uh, um, yeah. connected us directly. Mm -hmm. Um. And for everybody listening who are wondering who are these people, they are all these are all um, uh, creators and uh, underneath the uh, uh, Fenoya uh, in English, that's what EN stands for uh, branch. Um, so as far as you, um, it, just for because you were the first VTuber that I've had the luxury of interviewing, um, just for mm -hmm. the audience. Can you please, in in your own words, describe to me, to us what VTubing is and 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 uh, and uh, some of the creative um, some of the creative uh, uh, abilities that you have compared to other types of creativity, and as well as uh, what are what's kind of like what what's different about the VTuber space compared to normal content creation and live streaming. Mm -hmm. Um, one moment. Uh, take that uh, water. Take that, take that in however at whatever speed you want in whatever chunk you want. No no pressure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. So I had to take a swing of water because my voice was kind of uh, giving out for a second. <clears throat> You're good. You're good. You're good. Go, go, go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So VTubing essentially is how do, how do I best put it? It's like getting to be your own... It's getting, it, compared to regular content creation space and how everything there goes, um, it's... It's like getting to play more than just a character or just a... Or rather, your own character on screen. <clears throat> and... The creativity uh, that I've seen from other VTubers within this space has been 
really fun and really inspiring to see because there's so many different um, things you can do with VTubing um, that you can't do with normal content creation, especially if you're using, you know, your own face, IRL and whatnot. Um, I'm, I've been suffering with that with my own um, trying to find a, a, a job in my field. It's I don't I don't know if it is if it's my YouTube, but it very well might be a contributor. Mm hmm. Yeah. Which is where having a model or you know that mask of that comes with having a model that represents you comes in handy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, for, so I'm curious if you don't mind me asking. Um, mm -hmm. uh, just to get into it, uh, what, like, what you are, uh, an, uh, an, uh, a multifaceted artist in your own right. Um, what are your, what's your, uh, spe what's your speciality? And, and, uh, what, what's your, uh, what's your, um, primary speciality in that regard? Um, these days, I mainly specialize in making uh, custom textures and models for um, for people to, well, especially textures, uh, to use for a program called Vroid Studio. Mm. Um, I've been using the program for about three years. It started back in April 2021, and I've just been going ever since. Uh, I do a lot of my texture work myself. Originally, I was one of those people that, you know, got on Booth and bought a lot of stuff on there to, like, dress up my models. But then I got more into making the textures myself. And I opened up a boot shop for doing that as well to sell. Nice. I, I, I did try and I did do, try fiddle around with... Um viewer's studio a little bit and did in fact have a model i imported just by using the stock model or whatever it looked, mm -hmm. vague, it looked vaguely like me honestly mm -hmm. like honestly the only reason i'm not doing that is because like i really want to have uh winston winston being the where is he here you are this is winston Oh. <laughs> yes. Winston was uh, crocheted by my uh, girlfriend's grandmother. Uh, and I fell in love with him. And I made him my channel mascot. He's been, been with me ever since. Oh. Yeah. But um, I'd rather uh, Winston be my avatar than just some spangly white boy with an anime face. <laughs> but um to get back into like the vtubing uh proper which is you know we can kind of like break things down from there um i wanted to and and obviously like after this is over you can i can i'm gonna send you the video file and you can you know use this to your heart's content um mm -hmm. but uh let's uh, take me through the story of uh of um uh, of, uh, Fio uh, of, um, uh, Fanoia. Uh, what's the pronunciation again? I'm sorry, I'm blanking. Fanoia. You said it, you were saying it right. Fanoia. Yeah. Uh, let, if you could just take me through the, uh, uh, beginnings, the manifestations of how Fanoia came to be, and, um, and just kind of go about, like, what it is, how, like, it's sort of how it came to be, what it is, and, um, kind of what sets it apart from other VTubing uh, um, uh, groups. Okay. Um, so before Fanoia was founded, uh, I had already been friends with two of the co-founders, my friend Wolfie and my friend Digi. Um, I was already a talent manager for at least Digi before Fanoia. Um, how it got founded? Uh, initial, the initial idea for even forming our own VTuber group uh, came up uh, happened during a um, during a past uh, Twitch stream where sorry my model was checking 
doing a past t uh, Twitch stream, uh, I believe it was a Fortnite one specifically, where uh, a few of us were like, you know, we could start our own VTuber group. We have enough people and everything. There was like, I think five of us in that stream, myself, Digi, Zero, and Wolfie. And, and it took a little while before uh, we finally bit the bullet and actually founded Fenoya. The reason we initially founded it was actually to be a private, uh, the original purpose was a private like um, VTuber community because of, um, uh, trying to remember why, but eventually we quickly decided after bringing a few other people aboard that we should switch from doing a, commu a private community to a private VTuber group instead. And so um, with that being the case, we, it took a little bit of brainstorming and we eventually picked the name that's currently known as Fenoya Yen, partially because of um, one of our talents, Zero, Zero Blind Star or TDW0333. Um, he was just, the one who just, suggests- just, just three threes on that folks i just yeah <laughs> <laughs> um he uh suggest we picked the name fenoya en specifically at fenoya because of a, an idea he had a long time ago with his brother called the fenoyan multiverse and from there we just fell in love with the name like pretty much immediately. It was available to use, you know, across social media as well, which is great. And we also very quickly um, came up with our logo right after picking the name. Gives a, um, the logo gives off a very Final Fantasy-esque type of logo. It's something you'd see over the top of a, of a, of a, of a, of a, of a big shop in a in a city in a final fantasy game that's actually that's that's yeah <clears throat> one moment um but yeah actually that's that's very true we one of the um actually our little a little um how do i say a little description for the group does say does mention you know fantasy in it specifically, you know, the intersection of fantasy and technology. And a lot of our group members uh, in the beginning had designs related to either of those uh, the, uh, themes. Just as a way with, to sort like, of, just as a sort of way to sort of allow that while also not having any crop, like being able to have VTubers of multiple different aesthetics without having to necessarily give people the boot. Keep, uh, Keep talking. I'm like, there's currently a stink bug in my in this room, and I do not need. It's already gonna smell like dog crap in here because of the poor cats. So, but yeah, I got it. So, continue. Mm. okay, okay. Um, yeah. So, fantasy and technology, you know, intersecting. Hence the tagline: "Infinite worlds intersect." As well, that's very fantasy and just allows for a lot of you know in uh, a lot of like you said a lot of um different aesthetics um what else let me that, 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 that way you could have a uh, a uh, barbarian wolf girl hanging out with a dude made of pixel made of like doing like some midget like the uh uh, 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 a Mega Man impression. Yeah, yeah. Y'all can tell I've been playing a little bit of Baldur's Gate lately. Carlac is Bay, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> yeah. We actually do have a uh, couple people that are, a couple towns that are, I believe we have a couple foxes in the group, actually, so that's I'm maybe not true. surprised. I'm looking at Star Girl Games, non-binary cat girl extraordinaire. 
Yep. That's one of our foxes. Um, there's also Gearless, who is a cybernetic fox. Um, also our, let's see. Hmm? I was going to ask, for as far as, uh, it's, you are the talent manager for uh, Fenoia. Uh, and um, mm -hmm. I wonder, what does that kind of, what does that involve, you know? I know that, you know, especially with the uh, Doki Bird controversy that had happened most recently at time of recording and everything that had kind of gone on with that, uh, you know, YouTuber mm -hmm. conglomerates have kind of got the perception of being predatory, um, uh, generally kind of not great. Um, so I wonder, you know, given that this is a group filled primarily with you know small streamers um mm -hmm. I, you know and, and given that the money coming in from that probably is not fantastic i wonder uh you know how what is the structure of, like how like how do you like manage um talent that is very much doing this in a certain in certain ways on a volunteer basis um well a lot of my, actually, can you give me one moment? My, uh, I, yeah, someone I'll, was, uh, you could, you, I'll give you, yeah. I'll give you a second. But, uh, as, yeah. as, 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 as I was uh, saying, uh, what, what is it, what does it entail for you to like running, like being the leader and one of the, and the talent manager of an entire, you know, VTuber work? that is you know very much not bringing in you know revenue at present in in having everybody do it out of like sheer passion and volunteering how how how, right. how, how, how does you know being a talent manager in that regard like how does that you know manage uh, um as okay um <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, well, Take your time. like I said before, yeah, like I said before, I was already a talent manager simply for my friend uh, Digi because he was uh, just starting out as a VTuber before the group founded. Um, yeah. And um, a lot of that talent management work was mainly I was another an, essentially another moderator in streams when I could uh you know be in streams but also a lot of that's also like scheduling um specific like group collabs or hangouts helping with events uh so logistics yeah logistics across of multiple like every, people's channels yeah. Okay. That makes sense. And also, especially when you have, you know, groups of folks that probably... I've been doing content creation for almost half a decade at this point. Um, and I've had different iterations of my channel and different... You know, I didn't start streaming until... 2021? 2020, maybe? Um... Mm -hmm. You know, and I was making videos and doing podcasts long before that. Um, you know, so, you know, I, 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 I can kind of see the ancillary benefit of having someone more with more knowledge and experience kind of like taking the more difficult aspect of things and making it easier on, you, on them. So I can, kind of, I can kind of understand that. But does... Do you feel like people need a talent manager to be able to be a VTuber? Or do you feel like it's just something that is sort of normalized in the in the VTubing space and people can do it with or without a uh, talent manager to help them? Um, within the VTubing space, I know not everyone has a talent manager of some kind because most people, you know, can't... Uh, Dish out the, dish out, always dish out the money to like 
pay for that pay for that as like a proper service. So I know I've come across some VTuber managers out there um, that do have like clients and everything. But given that I'm working on a volunteer basis, uh, it's a little different. Yeah, no, it's like it's like being a mod. You know, it's, yeah. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I've got I've got mods. How many TV has mods? Uh, you know the uh, illustrious uh, not Chara, the illustrious Professor Professor Blue, are both moderators of mine, and they um, you know they both are. It's a completely on a volunteer basis. I try and you know with donations give kickbacks when I can and things of that nature. But you know, there's only so much you can mm -hmm. do depending. You know, especially when you're like mm -hmm. you know small and poor like I am. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, you know, you can't, like, expect somebody to do it as their full-time job if they're not, you know, because bills must be paid. Mm-hmm. But, um, but, so, so, but I was just kind of trying to, um, al um, uh, allude to, you know, the similarities, you know, of, between the two. Um, mm -hmm. how did, uh, how is, um... So I know you, so so it's so uh, Fenoia started with um you Digi and Wolfie and I know that and and Digi I know has made a sort of of um sub faction within Fenoia called the Digital Warriors based off of his brand. How does uh mm -hmm. how does um if I'm curious uh how does if 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 if, if you're a VTuber talent and you're looking to on board and, and things of that nature because there because i will like how will you go about doing that because you know the collaborative aspect of it i can attest to that you know mm -hmm. networking and making friends and hopping on people's streams and, and you hopping on people hopping on yours definitely you know makes things you know better i've i've had some people come to me who i've been on streams with in the past and they say that i've say but in no uncertain terms i'm a force multiplier i will if i'm if it's not my stream and i'm let, allowed to go ham like i will be loud brash boorish and, and but and no, if nothing else entertaining <laughs> mm -hmm. so how would somebody go about uh joining uh Fenoia? obviously they use a vetting process of course and, and you have to have a vtuber avatar ready to go um, the process depends on whether you want to be specifically a staff member or a talent. We have application forms for both, though we most recently uh, just closed up our talent applications because we've pretty much finalized our talent roster um, as all, with all intents and purposes. Um, That's a bummer. Yeah, I, I, some... I, had another, I had a friend of mine, uh, Gizmo. Mm -hmm. she, she's got about a thousand followers on... Um... Twitch, I was going to uh, uh, send try and see if she was interested in like doing some collabs with you guys and, and probably possibly join us talent. But I, I guess mm -hmm. I was a bit of a slack ass on that. My apologies. It's okay. I mean, we're not opposed to collaborating with people outside of our group. Obviously, so. you're on a, you're on my podcast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Actually, before, uh, though, I will ahead. say before, uh, we didn't always have the application forms uh, at the ready when we first formed the group. Originally, we kind of um, picked and choose uh, people that we already kind of knew or, ha or had approached uh, any of our founding members to say, hey, I want to join y'all's group. And or, uh, you know, whether that was as talent or staff. And stuff, and that's how we picked some of our initial founding uh, talents before we opened up the application forms for staff and talents. Makes sense, and it's also—I mean, because that's an easier way of like determining someone's a culture fit if somebody who's already in New York is able to vouch for them effectively. Mm hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Do you guys um? As far as the uh, VTubing stuff is concerned, um, what is like how uh, you know how difficult is it for either like for VTubers generally, but the, just just to make it simpler for like your talent, how how difficult is it to kind of get started up with that with VTubing in general? 
and getting rolling? Um, getting started as a VTuber? It depends really on um, a lot of things. Um, you tell. I'd say... Um, gosh darn it. <laughs> well, I think one of the biggest things that matter when you're getting started in VTubing is really narrowing down like what kind of what, uh, whether you want to like um, be just be yourself but behind you know the model instead of a, instead of your face or if you want to like play into a specific character trope or type or something like that um because so, so have the model reflect the person like be the face for the personality you want to portray yes that makes sense as far as the as far as the uh uh tech and stuff is concerned i've noticed that wolfie uh built the website yeah he uh, well the website that we have is uh made with a uh online form a uh, software thingy called Zenfero. That, um, that was entirely uh, Wolfie's. Uh, Wolfie has more experience with it than I do, but I fiddled uh, around with a lot of things on it too. I feel that to learn it around, learning everything. Yeah. That makes sense. As, yeah. Far as, as far as your oh. lo as far as your logo is concerned, how did you uh, settle on a purple tulip? Um, there were a number of things that I that made that uh, pushed me to choose that as my symbol. Um, for one thing, you know, purple's my my uh pretty much my name brand color at this point, but especially a specific hex code of it. Um, I've always kind of loved tulips ever since I like read a specific book as a child as well. Um, though none of the tulips in the book that I read as a kid uh, specifically featured tulips. I also did research on tulips and uh, specifically the purple tulip is associated with, you know, um, magic and royalty and I forget one other thing. And I just felt that related to me because I actually, um, according to my dad, as he's told me, uh, I am a technically the descendant of like an African uh, king or queen, well, it's really a queen or princess. So that is why I chose the color purple. Um, and also tulips. Actually, when I initially made my logo back in 2019, I actually did not know all of what I know now about like the associations with uh, tulips and everything. But now that I no, it just makes it a lot more like, yes, this is me. This is what I want for my branding and everything. And I want to, I, mean, I do plan to still keep my current logo even after I uh, rebrand with a new model and new design and everything in the future. Nice. Do you feel that the VTuber space is uh, friendly to women of color? Um. That's a very good question. <laughs> you can um, say no. <laughs> yeah, it, not that. Yeah, no, not not always. It it really depends on who you engage with and who you connect with, because um, especially with it's especially with the roots that VTubing has in idol culture and. Uh, and you know the Japanese other things. The Japanese can be racist as fuck. Yes, unfortunately, very much. I have I, ha I have a lot of things to say about Japanese culture at large. I am I is very much a bit. The more I learned about Japanese culture and the root and like how much uh, uh, um, anime and like Japanese soft power just is a 
kind of like a cult like erasure of like past misdeeds and enablevation of pedophilia like i just kind of i i just i don't really enjoy anime like that anymore fortunately because of it like i just mm. I, I just see certain tropes and i'm like pedo bait fuck you or i'm like just that's that 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 that's that that's that's that's, gl that's completely glossing over the atrocities done to the Koreans. Like that's kind of fucked. Like it's kind of rough to rough mm -hmm. to see. You know, it's like I wanted to watch Ranking of Kings. I'm not going to. Mm, yeah, I haven't watched a ton of anime the past couple years. Not because I. Uh, don't want to. There are still anime that I still enjoy, despite oh, you sure. know. We're what me and my girlfriend are watching the ghost stories dub right now. <laughs> oh boy, that one. That I've one heard is a things about that one. That it is most certainly a product of its time. Yes. Oh yes, indeed. There is literally a scene in it where a a young boy is crying, and somebody says verbatim, "Quote here." You're a fag, and you should join the football team. Oh my god. It's so bad. It's so bad. But it's like... It's like... you. Know, it's kind of like Jackass, or like... An, or an old, like, an, like a Dave Chappelle or um, Chris Rock spe like stand-up special from the 90s. It is very much a product of its time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big oh, time yeah. indeed. Yeah, but to but to bring it back to the original question I had asked you, because I do have a tendency to ramble. Uh what well, mm -hmm. uh, how do you how as a well as a not just a woman of color, but a queer woman of color, how like how's the VTuber space been for you, Chief Queef? <laughs> Cannot be um, good. Well my experiences as a queer woman of color in this space uh, are definitely not entirely always the norm. I follow a number of other uh, POCs that are in this space and I'm even part of a group called the, well, the Discord server of a group called the Melon Mafia, which has nice. a lot of people like that in it. And- Do you, um, know, May do you, know, do you know Mayday? Mayday. Here, she's a, I, I know her through completely separate digital means and stuff. Um, I'll, mm -hmm. uh, she, she's a she's, she's a black woman, a, you know, queer. She VTuber, so I'll send her to your way, just in case you want to, like, check her out. So she's cool. She's good people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But as you're saying, you're part, you, you're part of a, uh, a Discord group called the Melanated Mafia. Yeah, Melon Mafia. Um, haven't always been part of it, uh, but I ever since I met the founder of it, I have uh, been in there for a while. Um, and the stories that I hear from my fellow peers in the space that are also POC or women or just queer in general mm -hmm. um, are not always positive because I know especially uh someone who originally uh got more into indies before i got into like the corporate side of vtubing um not to say that there's always you know those kinds of people on the corporate side but um there's there's just a lot of a lot of not great things that you may come across uh in the space i will say that um, like and la layered sexism, racism, and homophobia wrapped into one fun little bundle. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that progressive stack ain't that just a fucking doozy? Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, um even with a lot of the issues that may arise in this community, there are still, um, you know, 
there are still people just trying to be themselves, just trying to express themselves in the best way that they can. Uh, ways that are meaningful to them. Yes. I'm paying attention to everything you're saying. I'm just sending you some. I'm just sending you the links. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. There, there are just people just trying to live, laugh, love, and just express themselves in ways that they can't always do IRL because of, you know, things behind the scenes and stuff. But for what it's worth, in my opinion, I still think that it's worth, even as someone who's been in this space since before the term VTuber was even coined. Um, Back when y'all were still uh, 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 Hatsune Miku clones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, really and truly, I still think, for what it's worth, that even, uh, it's still worth exploring the space and finding your own roots, making your own roots, finding people that you can, that you feel you can trust and have fun with and just, you know, just curate your experience basically in this space as best as you can. And not to say that you should, of course, ignore the things that come up in this in, in this in this space. But you know, just above all else, be who you are and have fun, really and truly. Amen to that. And on that note, um, this has been the HI Soapbox. If you want to find Aoku um, on social media, you can find her at uh, Aoku Xyz or A I Yoku Y O K U dot X Y Z. I'm a, I'm a Yu Gi Oh player. I'm sorry. I see X Y Z. I immediately think <laughs> Xyz. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. All of you laughing at me right now. I know it's not. I'm not saying it to Aoku because I'm a gentleman. But all. But I know all you fuckers are laughing at me right now. Shut up. Um, you can also find her on her YouTube. Please tell me you have a YouTube ad. And I, if not, not a good. You know. Yep, you can find her at Ayoku Chan, all one word, on at, on YouTube, as well as please have your Twitch there. Same uh, as well as also as Ayoku Chan on Twitch proper. Also go follow mm -hmm. her. Also go follow her. She manages multiple multiple teenage bo teenage boys at, who are fucking vtubers which is like hurting cats so in the fact that she has oh, less absolutely. and the fact and the fact that she has less followers than my craven as is, is a crime against humanity uh <laughs> um is there anything that you wanted to share uh any other socials and causes you wanted to share before we now maybe uh go to Faonia, which is spelled by the way f a n O I A, and you can do that. Go go to f a n o i a dot live to join the uh, uh, the the message boards and communities. And I presume there's probably a Discord somewhere. There's a private Discord for just our group at the moment. We haven't uh, decided whether we're going to make a separate public fan base server or just open up the main uh, server that we currently have. I'm happy to consult give you guys like to consult you guys on that and give you some help some pointers. I've been running a Discord server for way too fucking long at this point. Um, mm -hmm. I've I've been running servers since like uh 2016 2017. Oh yeah oh yeah so you oh yeah so you don't you, oh, you you don't need my ass forget forget to send anything. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the High Soapbox. Um, Ayoku Chan, thank you so Ayoku, thank you so much for joining us. If you want to support the show and what I do here, you can uh, donate a dollar at to me a month at himedia.gg slash tip. One dollar a month is a boot to my mental health and gives you access to perks like exclusive content on the Discord. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, your time, and your viewers slash listenership, and I will see you guys next time. Aoku, thank you again. You're welcome. <laughs>